What happens when we do a word search vertically? I'm sure you can still spell your way down the ladder. Welcome to the crew. Welcome into the workshop. If this is your first visit, I'm Cyrus Cheddarton, your host rat, here with the Puzzle Crew. I've got a ladder-laden puzzle to share today. But first, the answer to the previous puzzle. The following segment will be a spoiler for the puzzle shown here. If you haven't yet tried the puzzle, and you don't want to see the answer, skip ahead in this video to the time shown on screen for today's puzzle. Now, I'm going to reveal the answer and how to go about solving it. Are you ready? All right, let's go. This was the puzzle last presented, where you have to turn these shapes into letters by making cuts. You can only cut out the same shape as the starting shape, though you can scale and rotate things. It wasn't said directly, but hopefully you figured out that the numbers here denote the number of cuts. The easiest ones are the circles, with ones in them. The sensible cut here is to remove the center and make an O, and this was demonstrated in the video by Blueberry. The squares with twos are a little sneaky because you can make two different letter shapes, T and L. The L, since we talked about the letter forms looking proper, has a second cut to trim that lower leg. Finally, we do some fancy cutting and turning to get the square into an X and the triangle into an A. The end result of all the cutting is axolotl, which is the answer to the puzzle. How'd you do? Now, let me explain today's puzzle. Recently, I was talking to my Uncle Magnus up in the city. He's a retired costermonger there, you know. He was telling me about something he noticed when writing out shopping lists. If you write out a list of words, one below the next, you can sometimes find hidden words if you search it downward through the letters. And that sounds to me like the basis for a puzzle. Now, I'll explain the details, don't worry. In fact, I have my friend Blueberry Raccoon here to help. Hi. Hey, pal. Now, these lined up words that Magnus told me about. Blueberry, can you help demonstrate? What? Oh, you'll lend me a paw. Ha ha. You got it. This type of puzzle has a bit of a word search aspect to it. Now, I don't know whether they have a name for this specific type of puzzle. For our purposes, let's call them spelling ladders. We're then going to step down through the rungs to make the answer. Are we ready to get started? Okay then, listen up. For this example, we have picked out some animal species. Let's start by putting them together into a list, like Uncle Magnus did with his shopping. Not that he was buying animals, I mean, uh, never mind. Now the ordering of the rungs is important, as you'll see. On the cards, we have dog, sheep, ram, and mouse. Perfectly ordinary animals. Now we bring the word search aspect into play. Let's read downward, taking one letter from each word. We can spell the word demo, which seems rather fitting. Hold on, I smell a hidden secret. Oh? Aha, well spotted. If we change which letter we pick from each of the animals, then this letter could also spell out gems. When searching a spelling letter, there may be multiple possible answers. You need some type of hint or category so that it's clear what we're looking for. That way there's only one correct answer. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how these work. Thanks Blueberry for the help in illustrating it. Oh, uh, okay. Now, for today's puzzle, let's try another spelling ladder. For this one, we will use a list of six body parts and come up with something that you might eat, depending on your species and diet naturally. Yet, We've already pointed out everything that you need. Huh? Think about it. Time to get spelling and make Uncle Magnus proud. Remember to share your answer, one word for something you might eat, in the comment section below the video. And remember the comment section should be considered spoilers, so don't go there till you're ready. If you enjoy this puzzle, please also click like on the video, as that does help out the crew. Thanks, good luck, and have fun exploring puzzles out there. <laughs>